Hey, <laughs> all right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, a bit windy. Oh my God, it is windy. Let me just hold on to that door. Right, now then, I got a problem with my car, and it's not this one. It's my old Mariva. So if I go along here now, past this Mariva, we get this one. It is dark, so apologize for the quality of the uh, video. Jump into this Mariva here, and if I go in here, let me just turn this light off here, because i got a light on the camera already. If I start the car up by here, um, like this, and uh, you can see that this light has come on here, look, and I got an annoying beeping, constant beeping, and this light here is to do with, um, the back doors. It's to do with the back doors and the child locks, something like that. Anyway, you can see outside that it's, um, let me turn that off because it's annoying. Turn that off. And uh, let me turn the light off there because you can see at the back there, look. It's dark outside. And uh, I just went for a drive, 20 minutes with that beeping. Really annoying, it got my nerves. Wish I had earplugs in. Anyway, um, let's get out the car. Anyway, it's got a bit late now, it's, it's dark and it's, wet and everything so I will come back tomorrow and see if I can fix the car. <laughs> hey, okay so it's the next day uh, so I'm gonna try uh, some GT85 uh, to spray in the locks because I've been on Google through the night um, and I've seen a video where it says there's four micro switches on these back doors on the Mariva. Now the reason why there's four micro switches is because the Mariva doors are like suicide doors and they open backwards and when you drive off in the car above two miles per hour the back doors lock so nobody can pull the door open at speed and the door opens that way and blows right back. So because of the suicide doors they've had to put in extra sort of um, emergency systems to stop people opening the doors and I think this is the problem is that there's little plastic sliders that get sort of dried up and they don't make contact with the micro switches. This is what I've seen online. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link to that guy's um, video in the description so people can look at that and so I'm going to try GT85 which is um, with a PTFE, which is rather slippery. So let's go and try that and see if it works and stops the beep in. So here's the lock. I'm gonna try and spray this in here, but I don't think I'm gonna have much success because you can't really get to the back of the lock, but I'll try. I know it's down in there somewhere. I'll spray plenty down in there and see what happens. You can see there's um, lithium grease being sprayed in there and I'll try the other side as well. It might just lubricate things off just enough to get things going. Let's try this one as well. Down in there, like this. Spray some around there as well, just for a laugh. And then right down in there. I think it's down in there somewhere. Now, let's go back over to the other side. Let's put that down here a minute. Now, on the doors here is the trial lock and when you turn that up there this little see that going on off there when the green light is on that you can open the door but let's go and try the other side as well I'll do the same on this side I'll put that to that way so that little Green LED is on there, and then close the door, and we'll jump in the car and see what happens. Okay, folks, here we go. Let's see what happens. So we still have the annoying beeping thing. So spraying stuff in here hasn't done anything yet. I don't know if it needs a new a few cycles. I'll, I'll try opening and closing the door a few times. But so far, 
it hasn't done any good. So it looks like I'm going to have to take the door panel off. If it doesn't um, free off on its own, I'm going to have to take the door panel off, take the lock out and put some lithium grease into the sliders. That's if this, it is the sliders. Okay, like a bit more development now. Um, I've pulled off from the driveway and um, when you drive off and take the handbrake off, the, the doors lock in the back and the ringing bell and the light has gone off. This is after putting lithium grease and some of that um, other stuff in the locks and uh, I can hear that the rear driver's door, the lock is unlocking slightly later than the passenger door. Door, not jaw. <laughs> so I think it's, um, I got a feeling it's this door behind me which is causing the problem. And if I pull forward like this and put the handbrake back on, I put the handbrake back on now, and it, it locks it it locks the doors again. Uh oh, and there we go. The light comes back on again. So it does look like it's a sort of microfiber microfiber micro switch problem not being fully engaged. And I got a feeling there's one behind me. So um, I think I'm onto something. <laughs> right, getting that motor out of the was a pain in the bum. There's the motor there, look, right? I've had to bring that wire through. Disconnect this, and in here, I don't know if you can see in there, Let's see if I can get in there. Put my hand in there like that there. That there is right at the back. So you've got to go through this hole and try and, let's try and focus on that there. Come on, focus, you monkey. Go on, you can do it. Focus. <laughs> There's tabs either side of there. You've got to try and squeeze them in to get that off. And obviously you've got to take the whole door card out. There's the door card in there, look. So, it's a bit of a me, and it might not even be this side. <laughs> so, there we go. And you've got to undo... Oh, there's a wire there that's clipped in here as well. You've got to take that off to get some room. So, oh, and take the speaker out, obviously to bring it up through there. So you've got to undo three bolts there, unclip it from in there. Uh, once, you bring, once you've undone und that clip in there, you can bring it down, well, feed this, this thing through here, all the way down, all the way down there. You can pop that off then. What a me, what a nightmare. Anyway, let's take this apart. This I mean here. My camera works all over the shop. <laughs> I get a bit frustrated. Okay then. Right, okay. Don't know if you can see in there. By here, where I'm pointing. This is where the other video the bloke said this gets a bit sticky here. I'm not saying it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. I had to take this out of here first, and it's it's pushed in by there. And as usual, I cut my hand. <laughs> I always end up cutting myself. Any job, I always cut myself. Don't know why. But anyway, I'm going to try and put some grease, the lithium grease in here, the white lithium grease, because there is, I don't know if you can see down there. Let's try and get up there like that. Right in there is a little red thing, and I think that's the micro switch there that that bit knocks on. So the little micro switch there I don't know if that's jammed or not, I can't tell really. I'll have a quick look at it first before I put the lithium grease in. Right, okay, if you can hear me above this annoying blinking beep. <laughs> I'll, let, me t let me turn the light on in this car a minute. My neighbours are going to think I'm crazy sitting over here now. Right. I've got a keyboard there, I've got a mouse here, I've got a, <laughs> um, uh, a PC screen, and it's got a little um, mini, uh, what they call mini PC stuck to the back, with some power in a car, because I haven't got a laptop. 
<laughs> but I remember that I had Voxcom fitted. I hope you can hear me over this annoying beep. I can't. Let me turn it off, Alan. I hope that doesn't lose. But I'll, I'll point towards there. Let me just turn it off. Right. So I've looked at the. I've managed to get this up. And you can see there, look, that it says right rear auto lock switch circuit stuck. Right rear auto. Trouble with this. Which side is right? <laughs> is the right side right or is the left side right side? You know what I mean, don't you? Because they say right side, but is it right side looking from the rear or right side looking from the front? Um, I don't know. Right rear. Um, so that's the lock switch. Right rear auto lock switch circuit stuck. See, it says stuck there. So I'm assuming that is the problem. Um, that's the number of faults, look. It says control power module low voltage, uh, right rear auto lock circuit high voltage, performance signal. I mean, it, a couple of these I just mean nothing, but lost communication with radio malfunction, right rear lock switch circuit high voltage, security code not programmed, right door ajar, Right, 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 look. It all, it's all heading towards right rear auto lock. Because there's nothing else on there except right rear auto lock. So that's what I'm going to go for. Um, I've already... What side have I taken off? I've taken off... I've taken off the driver's side. Is the driver's side the right side? Or is the passenger side the right side? <laughs> anyway. Um, that's what it's saying there. So there we go. That's what's coming up with that. And this is with the Voxcom um, doodah. So I'll, I'll take a I'll take a screenshot of that now in a minute. And uh, we'll go from there. Right, okay. I cleared the codes. And you can see what's come back there. Right rear auto lock switch circuit stuck. So there we go. Let me go, go put the other way out of the way. Right rear auto lock switch circuit stuck. So... Anyway, I was lucky I had this Voxcom, isn't it? I forgot I had it. It's been in the cupboard for years. Hiding away in the cupboard, gathering dust. But it's done me a service. So there we go. I think I found the problem. Okay, then. So there you go. After messing about with the car most of the day, and it got on my nerves in the end, uh, I, found, I found out what the problem is. Uh, I looked on forums, and I said, some people have sprayed loads of WD-40 in there. I've done that. Uh, this other guy said he put lithium grease in the lock. You can see I did that. Uh, that didn't work for me, and I was still getting the fault of... what well, It's obviously um, a fault in the actual locking system and the motors and the little switches. So I've gone on eBay, and there's loads of them on sale from on eBay, which means it's a common fault. And uh, uh, But they're about new on eBay. They're about... £85, £84.95 I think they were, uh, so if you're looking for one and you want to get a new one, head on to eBay, they're 85 quid. Uh, so I've ordered one, I know that's probably going to solve the problem, so I'll call it the day with this video. Um, and uh, I hope this video helps other people, if you watch this and you're having the same problem, you, you know, and well, you'll have, to, you'll have to have some sort of uh, Voxcom to find out which which uh, which motor's gone, because buying two is, well, you could buy two, I suppose, but it's, it's a bit expensive doing it that way, isn't it? But uh, anyway, I'll stop waffling and end the video. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a like, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Ahoy!